Welcome to The Huddle. I'm your host, Walter Strong. In this episode, I want to talk about having a good cup of coffee and your content creation process as a content creator. When I used to be a child growing up in my grandmother's house, I would wake up in the morning and smell breakfast coming from my grandmother's kitchen. When I smelt that breakfast, I would put on my clothes, run downstairs, come into the kitchen and greet my grandmother by saying good morning. She would have my breakfast ready for me, so I would sit down at the table and start eating my breakfast. There were times where me and my grandmother would have conversations during breakfast, while there were other times she just sat there, ate her breakfast with her favorite sausage and eggs, black coffee with two sweet and lows with little milk, listening to 1010 radio in the background, covering the news, weather, and traffic. As I pondered these things that happened to me in my childhood, it made me think of three things she used to do during her morning routine of her breakfast. Her time of reflection as she reflected on the day before on what worked and what didn't work and what maybe needed to be improved upon. Her reflection on in terms of what she needed to plan for the day and what she wanted to accomplish, and maybe what appointments she needed to go to. And then finally, what decisions that she needed to make that day or was looking to make by the end of the week. You as a content creator have to think about these same three things. You have to reflect upon what's working with your content. What's not working with your content? What is it that you can do to get 1% better with your content? Rather, if that content is through videos on YouTube or audio podcasts being downloaded on your podcast platform. You also have to look at in terms of what planning you need to do as you make new content. And who is that content going to be for? Have you identified your target audience? Is the content going to be able to answer specific questions that your audience has. These are just some of the things you have to plan out. And then finally, you need to make quality decisions about that content. This decision shouldn't just be solely upon numbers and metrics, downloads or subscribers, but it should be made in the best interest in the target audience that you are trying to reach in the community that you're trying to be a build, that you're trying to build. And so the question that I have for you is, How much time are you spending time reflecting on what works, what doesn't work, and how you can get 1% better? How much time are you spending planning out your content? Or are you just being spontaneous, posting content with the hopes that you'll get a viral video or a podcast that'll take off? And then finally, you have to make quality decisions. Again, decisions that are not in just in your best interest but in decisions that are made in the best interest of the audience that you're trying to connect with. And so I want to simply ask you, if this episode is giving you great value, do me a few favors. Like, share, and follow on the platform that you're listening to the audio version of this episode. And if you're watching the video, like, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Each week, we're going to continue this conversation on our content creation process, what we need to reflect on, what works and what doesn't work and how we can get 1% better, the planning that we need to make and the quality decisions that we need to make in the best interest of our audience. God bless.